tumbling feathers is one of my favourite designs. And when I was uh, exhibiting at knitting and stitching shows throughout the UK, it was always the design I turned to because it has the basic stitches and it's really easy to demonstrate on. And I just love the repetitive, soothing nature of it. So it has laid in couch work, which is the noughts and crosses in the background. And then it also has cool stem stitch. And it also has long and short stitch, but a really, really easy part of long and short stitch. There's no fancy changing angles or anything. And then we also have French knots. So the laden couch work has variations, or you can keep it really simple, but it really is a very pleasing design in very soft colours. The colours are really from the early 20th century and that sort of arts and crafts feel about this and the feathers and the layout, it, I just find it very lovely. And it also reminds me of the Durham quilts that my aunt used to make and hand stitch using this exact same curved ostrich feather. So I'm just going to open it up and show you what's inside. And you have all the soft colours in all the wools. And it's a very straightforward set of colours. Needles in their pack, a little note about the needles. Um, step by step illustrations. And these are all in photographs in this particular design. And of course you have a stitch chart and the essential guide telling you how to cast on, cast off, and a little bit of practice with your shading. And to my mind, this is the ideal beginner kit because you learn how to do one feather, you know how to do all the feathers, and each feather has a slightly different couching on the laden couch work. But in the centre, all those different varieties come together. So with this design, I would just start and work around the clock and then finish with the central one at the end. Mm -hmm.